One underlooked aspect of customizing your system is forgetting to change the default fonts. Now if you take a look at the clock for example here, you'll see that it's using the default font and that's why in this video I'm going to show you how to change the default fonts in KDE Plasma and it should work in any distro. So one thing I'm going to show you is a good website and source to find free fonts is this website that I'll link in the description. It's called Font Squirrel. And I have a specific font that I would recommend that I personally use, um, and that is Roboto. So there's a search bar here, and you could just type it up, and it'll appear, and you could download it easily. And another link that I'll also have in the description is this link here, which provides you with another direct uh, download of this font. One thing going back to this font scroll website that I like is there's this tab here that it says test drive and you could just write something and it'll show you an example of what the font looks like. You could adjust the size and you could adjust the type as well. So you could go ahead and download the font that you like. I already have uh, this downloaded and then pull up your settings manager here and go to appearance and then font management. Now it's going to show you the fonts here and you have options. You could actually use the uh, built-in uh, installer to find uh, to get hot new stuff. That's uh, what they call it. I keep forgetting that but apparently we can't find any fonts for some reason. Uh, but whatever, this is this tutorial is how to install manual fonts. So click on the option that says install from file and go to wherever you downloaded and extracted uh, the fonts folder. And so here we have all the various versions of the Roboto font that I just installed. And so you can select all of them and click open. I've already done this. Uh, so once you've done that, I believe it'll ask you whether the fonts are going to be personal or system-wide. That's up to you to decide. Uh, for me, I just chose uh, for it to be system-wide uh, install for everyone. And so once that is installed, you can go ahead to the fonts tab. And if it, it initially doesn't load up, you could just exit out of the settings and just open them back up. And you should see if it was successful, uh, you should see the fonts here. Uh, once you click adjust all fonts, it's going to show you the options. So you can enable font and it is ordered in alphabetical order. So you can search for the font that you just installed. And there it is. So I'd like to stick with Roboto Medium. And then for font style, there aren't really any options. So there's nothing to choose from. Uh, but for some fonts, uh, they give you a regular, a bold version. So you can go ahead and choose that. And for the size, I leave this at default. Uh, so you can press OK. And so this is assuming you want to change the font for the whole entire system, right? Uh, if you want to just manually uh, change the font for certain options here, you could adjust them accordingly one by one. Uh, but what I do is I change all the fonts so I can apply it everywhere and you can click apply and automatically you can see right here on the clock everything is thicker now that's kind of what I like about this font it's kind of like a bold font without actually being bold uh, I think it looks really nice and it hasn't applied here that's why if you're Applying this uh, setting while having applications open, you may have to close and reopen the applications. And as you can see now, uh, the font is uh, thicker and it's different. So this is just a really quick way to really notice an improvement. Uh, if you find a font that you personally like, it automatically just shows. And it's something so subtle, but at the same time, uh, make such an impact because at the end of the day there's text everywhere and we constantly read stuff so uh, that's why I think adjusting your fonts is um, a pretty nice thing to do 
so let me know down in the comments. I mean, if you guys have certain fonts that you've already installed or that they're your favorites, let me know what they are. I'd be down to uh, look at and try new fonts for my system. Uh, so that was basically it. And if you have any questions, also write down in the comments. Yeah, thanks for watching.